Hi, my name is Jeff Hayes, and I'm the narrator of the audiobook version of The Truth Beyond the Sky by Andrew M. Crusoe. This is a story about a young man named Zahn, whose search for his missing mother takes him on an epic space journey. This journey is filled with action, colorful characters, and an underlying message about the oneness of all things. In this scene, Zahn meets the protagonist, Unok. Unok led Zahn down the familiar path to the beach. After a few minutes, he stopped walking when he was still many meters from the ocean, and Zahn was confused because he saw nothing. It was the same beach he'd always known, though tonight struck him as especially lovely as a half-moon slightly illuminated the silvery sands around them. I don't see anything. Are you sure your ship is out here? Zahn squinted, but still saw nothing unusual. You do not see it? Look closer. Do not look at these silvery sands. Look at the air behind me. Look carefully. Now that Zahn's eyes had adjusted to the light, he could just make out a faint wavering shape behind Unok. The space wavered like a mirage over desert sand, as if something imaginary were appearing out of thin air. The wavering shape was rather large, at least seven meters tall, and Unok waved Zahn over. Touch it, he said. Touch what? Right here. Unok pointed to a spot and smiled, his white teeth seeming especially alive as they contrasted with the darkness of the night. Slowly, Zahn reached out his finger to the spot. After a moment of moving his finger forward, he unexpectedly felt something where he saw nothing. It was as though he were touching solid air. Wow! But if this is really a ship, can I see inside? To prove it's yours, I mean. What do you think, Novika? Unok said, seemingly to the air itself. At that moment, a voice came from nowhere. It was as if the air itself spoke. The voice was crisp and calm. That is your choice, Unok. Thank you.